watching KITV4 News this morning. Good morning and welcome back. Kaka'ako comes alive this weekend as Kamehameha Schools and Street Grinds presents Honolulu Night Market. The pop-up fashion and food event kicks off at 6 p.m. this Saturday on Oahe Street. And one of the vendors that you'll be able to find at the night market is Aloha Pops. It's a mobile pop-up restaurant, you could say. And this is Kathy Sills and her 14-year-old son, Kua. Good morning, guys, and thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, and thank you for having us. So we've got something cool and sweet in here. Can you dig inside and show us what you have? We do. We've got some goodies in here for you. This is Ooh. my passion orange guava, passion Aloha orange Pop. Guava. Mm. Looks very local and sweet. I think Jill's thirsty and hungry this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Jill, why didn't you come People here? Having fruit juice in the morning, oh, right? Yeah. Exactly. Your there pot. you go. It's That's breakfast on a stick. And what do we have for Cam this morning? And we have some lily koi for Ooh, Cam. Ooh, lily koi. All right, ladies, why don't you give that a taste? It's good. Thumbs it's up. really good. Very good. It's Thank very you. fruity. Mm, I'm doing my happy food dance, so I'm good. <laughs> so, Kathy, why don't you tell me how many flavors of Aloha Pops that you have? You know, it varies because we do some specialties, but we have about 12 to 15 different flavors. Um, I use a lot of local fruits, but I also do a lot of flavors, so we use some syrups. Mm -hmm. Those kind of mimic uh, shaved ice, but it's like a shave ice on a stick. Yeah. A little bit less sticky. And uh, it was just a, I woke up one morning and had a dream, and I decided to follow that dream, and it's been quite a challenge, very exciting, but 2013 is looking to be a really big year for us. And I know this is a family business for you. Your 14-year-old son, Cole, helps out a lot. Cole, what is it like for you to help out your mom and sell what a really cool product here? It's actually really fun. And uh, do you get time off from school to help your mom out? Sometimes. <laughs> that sounds like a good part, too. Now, tell me more about the night market, because it's starting to gain in popularity, especially in the Kaka'ako area, right, Kathy? It is. Kaka'ako is really a, a really neat up-and-coming place. Uh, very, um, lots of artists, as with these, being very artistic and, and artisan, we have a lot of local artists in Kaka'ako, and what we're trying to do is promote their creativity and their artwork and we're doing that with the art cards mm -hmm. that they're going to be giving out at the night market. Oh, fantastic. So that'll be going around. Cole, why don't you give that little horn a squeeze there and let people know that these pops are for sale. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you still enjoying your pops, oh, ladies? Yeah. It's a little chilly, though, but yeah. it's good. It's so yummy. Mm -hmm. It tastes just Thank like you. the fruit. And no Thank worries. It's, it doesn't matter what temperature, you can always eat it, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, the Honolulu Night Market again is this Saturday. It's at 6 p.m. on Oahe Street. Aloha Pops. This is a roving cart. It's going to be one of part of the food vendors and all sorts of fashion that you can see there as well. We'll be right back after the break. You're watching KITV4 News this morning.